Alright. Listen, you want to work on showmen? This is the family, right? You guys can say, no, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm serious about this. I'm not kidding. We're brothers and sisters. I don't go for this high love stuff. <laughs> what do you want? All right. You want to work on showmen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, good. I, I want to work on showmen. <laughs> <laughs> but if you insist, we'll work on it. Show is a good place to start. Okay, this whole art, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as a lot of other people are concerned, as far as those techniques are concerned, is the art of protection. It's not an art of self-defense. It's an art of protection. The difference between those two words is immense. Okay. It's an art of protection, going and coming. Uke and Nage both practice the art of protection. How do you practice shonen so it is an aspect of protection? Good. I'll supply the answer. Uh, here's one way that you do it. Okay, let me add some new words to it. So we're going to cut our mat eye, by the way, not only because we've got a lot of people in the mat, because I'm really the cliche that I've grown tired of now. This giant <laughs> mat stuff, I never did stuff. I never deal with anybody in the course of my life at a distance. <laughs> Especially if somebody wants to be in my face and in my face. Right? That's my eye. This is we're talking my eye, right? That's talking my eye is ten feet out. Okay, so we're gonna be working on closing that stuff up and working on the speed. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to protect me by showing me. Okay? I want you to imagine that which is true, I'm allergic to bees. A large bee just doesn't land it on my head, right here. Okay, you can wave the bee away, it will probably come right back. Or you can kill it so quick, up against my forehead, so quick, that he doesn't have time to sting me. Okay. <laughs> Beats on me. Beats <laughs> on her. And she did, and I did it up. <laughs> Before I get to them, that real. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. And we're brother and we're sister. And because we're doing this for protective purposes, even if we screw up. Okay, there's no malice in it. Okay? So don't be afraid of it. And if you are afraid, cop to it. There's no reason why you should not be afraid of a hand moving right in your face fast. Okay, that's a normal, natural thing. So if, if you do feel afraid, just slow the speed down. Don't separate. Don't get any further apart. And because it's your brother and sister, you know, I know I can... I know her. I met her yesterday, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I know where her, her heart is. And, uh, how's your name? I don't apologize. And, 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 and she did that, and it is difficult to go and do that to someone. But this is protection. Okay? Have you ever had, as I had, I didn't, it didn't happen to me. I came a little bit later. But I was invited to a party in the country. Went to the party, and everybody's out there drinking and, and having a good time. And, okay. and one of the kids of the people at the party was outside somebody's backyard. No big deal, no big, you know, wilderness scene or anything. The backyard. Somehow this kid fell right into, stepped on, whatever, a nest of bees. And, though, and this is a five-year-old kid, and this. These bees swarmed all over me. And I want to tell you, I mean, that's life threatening. That's, uh, that's a heavy thing. You've got to go deal with that kid who is freaking, right? Or somebody whose hair is on fire. People freak out. 
and we must take direct protective action with absolutely no apology. And if it means throwing the kid in the pool or jumping in the kid, then do that. Or uh, whatever. It, you understand my point. We're not talking about apologies. We're talking about honest, protective necessity. No bullshit. <coughs> yeah. Okay, not so much over Yeah. Okay. You don't have to. <laughs> Pulling a little bit. Pulling a little bit. Yeah. All right. Now, let's do that. 